the college football playoff should not expand to an 18 playoff. And I want to start this with an analogy. I'm a college student. I go to school six hours away from my hometown. I go to school in Pullman, Washington. My home is in Portland, Oregon. That's where my family is. And for me, visiting home is a special occasion. I love it. It's great. And I miss my family. When I see them, it's a very meaningful thing. I I love it. And that's because it's special. It's rare. About once every two months, I see my dad and my mom and my girlfriend and my parents. It's awesome. Now, I'd love to see my family every single day. They're my favorite people in the world. But if I did see them every day, it wouldn't be nearly as big a deal. Seeing my mom, seeing my brother, my dad, it wouldn't be nearly as special as if I saw them every single day. And I think the idea of rarity, the idea of scarceness matters. It makes things special. So in a nutshell, that is why I do not believe the college football playoff should expand to eight teams. That is why the college football playoff should not expand to eight teams. Every year, a good team gets left out. And I do believe that benefits college football. Having a team that's high quality that could potentially make it, you can make a good argument for. Having a team like that left out of the college football playoff, I do believe works to the benefit of college football. So right now, it's week 12 of college football. Alabama's number one. Clemson's the number two team in the nation. Notre Dame is number three. And Michigan at nine and one is number four. Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame, they're all 10 and 0. Michigan's 9 and 1, but their only loss is to number 3, Notre Dame. It's highly possible that maybe Ohio State will leapfrog Michigan. If, they, if Ohio State beats Michigan on November 4, uh, 24th and wins the Big Ten, then Ohio State probably gets in instead of Michigan. But as it is, number 5, Georgia, is 9 and 1. They're going to get left out. Then you have in the Big 12, you have number 6, Oklahoma, is 9-1, and one, and number 7, West Virginia, is 8-1. and one. They're going to play each other later this year, but one of those good teams is going to be left out of the college football playoff. And you have number nine or number 8, Washington State. They're 9-1. and one. They're going to get left out of the playoff. And again, number 9, Ohio State's not going to make it. If, if we did it today, some good teams would be left out. And there are going to be many, many conversations and debates about who should be in, who shouldn't. It's going to be all over headlines. They should expand, and they got to let this team in, and this team deserves it. Ah, da, 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 da. All of that debate, all of that conversation works to benefit college football. It, dr- it drums up excitement. If we were to let eight teams in this year, here's how it would work. You'd let one team from every Power 5 conference, so you'd have probably... It'd be likely Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, Oklahoma, and Washington State. Sure. Then you would have, oh, probably Notre Dame. And then likely Georgia or Ohio State, whoever doesn't win the Big Ten and whoever doesn't win the SEC. But there's redundancy in that. I don't like that. Georgia plays Alabama on December 1st. And Ohio State plays Michigan on November 24th. Oh, and by the way... University of Central Florida, they might go undefeated, but they never played a legit school. They don't belong to be in there. You have Power Five, a mid-major, and two people that didn't win their conference. That's the eight teams you would get. And I do think that leaving a Power Five school out does benefit. Leaving one of the conferences entirely out, whether it's the Big 12, the Pac-12, maybe two get out if Notre Dame gets in. Having someone left out matters. It's important, and I think it helps the benefit of college football. Because there is great power in scarcity. Making something a rare occasion makes it more meaningful. When I go home to visit my family, it's more meaningful because I haven't seen them in two months. It's a rare occasion. It's a special occasion. I've never loved or appreciated my family more than my time I've been away at college. I mean, if you eat your favorite meal every single day, eventually, you're not going to like it as much. Again, if you let everybody in to the college football playoff, it's not as special. On November 24th, Ohio State plays Michigan in Ohio State. The winner of that game probably makes it into the college football playoff. And the reason why that's a great game is because it impacts the college football playoff. It has meaning. If they play that game on November 24th, and then there was an 18 college football playoff, and they both still got in anyways— that game would be meaningless. It'd be, irre- it'd, be re- it'd be irrelevant. It wouldn't matter. 
The reason why it's important to have a, a four-team college football playoff instead of eight is all those big games down the stretch matter. They're important. December 1st, Georgia, Alabama. If you let them both in, it becomes pointless. Why did we play that game if they're just going to get in anyways? My argument is this. Part of what makes the college football playoff is great. What makes the college football playoff great is not just the four teams you let in, but also the teams that don't get in. Oklahoma, Washington State, maybe Georgia. Teams that are maybe capable of competing at that level, but they don't get in. University of Central Florida, they don't deserve to be in. I'm sorry. Their schedule's not hard enough. They haven't earned the right. No system is perfect. We are never going to find a perfect college football playoff system. But I think four is the right number. It's a number I like. I don't want it to change. I like not letting a team in. It makes it interesting. Because then next year, Washington is going to be looking for revenge. Oklahoma's going to say, we should have made it in. We want revenge. That gives me more narratives, more interest, and more intrigue. You can't have a five-team college football playoff. You can't even have a six-team. It doesn't work. And I think eight is too many. I think what we should do, we should just embrace the fact that good teams are left out. And we're playing, we're getting to watch the very best of the very best. And good teams that could have made it didn't make it in because they weren't good enough. Having teams left out is part of what makes a college football playoff great. It's why visiting my family for Thanksgiving is so exciting. It's why having your favorite meal is your favorite meal and not the meal you have every single day. Having only four teams in the college football playoff is why it's such a big deal. It's why it's special. And I think the rarity and the scarceness is something no one pays attention to. Making that a special opportunity is why it's so fun to watch and why it's so valuable. I would not let eight teams in because it ruins it. You lose some of that scarcity. You let too many people in. And then it's a lot less special when you do make it into the college football playoff. Hi, my name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my favorite thing in the world. It means a lot to me that you watched. And if you're new to Strong Opinion Sports, you can help me tremendously by subscribing on iTunes, on SoundCloud, and on YouTube. I'm getting the show on Spotify very soon. And it, it just means a lot. I'm, I'm very grateful you watch and you listen. And please help me grow by telling your friends about the show. My name is Alex Schaumler. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and take care.